wondered how the idea of black holes actually came into existence. Who thought of black holes? How did they theoretically or um, in imagination, in fiction, how does the black holes uh, idea came into existence? So in this video, I'm talking about the uh, existence of black holes. So the black holes existence is a completely mysterious um, topic for several centuries. So the first thing that came into my research was that Newton's theory of gravitation is the closest one that uh, theoretical physicists think uh, predicts or adumbrates the black hole, existence of black hole. And this claim was actually uh, suggested first by John Michel in 1784. 1784 as far as back right there. So in which it uh, just summarized that um, um, if a body is of sufficiently massive size, all the light emitted from such a body would be made to return to it by its uh, own power of gravity. It might seem complex at this point, but uh, th this claim was also um, supported by a French scientist called um, uh, P.S. de Laplace, uh, Laplace and uh, he also made that uh, conjecture with using mathematical analysis so uh, this was um, this massive object was called Michel Laplace dark body however over the years scientists uh, proved that this Michel dark, Laplace dark body wasn't actually a black hole on the basis of um, escape velocity so whenever there's an object of greater gravity he, um, it's uh, it is uh, its gravity or it's uh, it was like in this experiment they checked the um, the gravity of that massive object using escape velocity so they just um, they just theorized or they just um, said in the end that um, an observer, no matter how close they are um, to the event horizon of the uh, Michel Laplace body, will see nothing. Contrast to this with the escape velocity for the Michel Laplace dark body, where if the escape velocity is the speed of the light, all observers located at the trajectory will see the light as it passes out to infinity where it comes to rest or when the escape velocity is greater than the speed of light so that a suitably close observer will see the light comes twice is back and forth so uh, this is completely opposite to what the claim of black hole is which essentially is that uh, in a black hole oh nothing can escape the event horizon not even the fastest existing thing in in the universe that's light so so essentially the it's just the idea of the um the black holes came into existence through newton to, uh, through newton's theory of gravitation and then that was further supported by uh, john michel and uh ps of class in uh, 1784 and also late 18th century. Surprisingly, Einstein actually never um, never believed or never derived the black hole from his general theory of relativity and never actually admitted the theoretical possibility of such an object. However, some of his colleagues using his work further derived the existence of black holes, which he always opposed to. In 1915, the general physicist um, Karl Schwarzschild was actually uh, being attributed to be the first to discover the black holes uh, using a device solution for general relativity that he um, that he uh, took from Einstein. So, um, just to put in. Um, in simple layman's terms, so Schwarzschild was the um, had discovered the something called Schwarzschild radius. So every object has a Schwarzschild radius or radii assigned to it, and that number, the Schwarzschild radius, is determined by the object's mass. It's as simple as that. And within this radius, the behavior of gravity starts to get a little bit weird, but that is nothing of a concern right now. If to just make it much more clear. Uh, in a black hole, the matter is compressed in such a tiny space that the square style radius is, becomes a point of singularity, an infinite point where the light couldn't escape. So that's what uh, square child was trying to prove using his mathematical models using square child radius, uh, singularity, and other general theory of relativity from Einstein. 
surprisingly, black hole wasn't actually named black hole until 1967, uh, in which by, it was named by American astronomer John Wheeler. But before then, it was called squash shell hole, squash shell black hole. Or uh, before, as we talked about, it was also called uh, by the two scientists name. Um, that was the Richard Laplace dark body, which was essentially not a black hole, but it was called that uh, since it, its discovery was made. With the coming up of the first picture of the black hole in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope and the recent photograph of the Sagittarius A star black hole at the center of the galaxy, we are really close enough to finding what the uh, environment around the black hole actually looks like and um, what are the materials, what how's the gravitational force that affects the materials around the black hole, hole and uh, things like that that couldn't be explained um, through since uh, last few years. So I think so hope, hopefully you learned something interesting today about the history of black holes and how did they actually, the idea, the fiction of black hole came into existence.